For more than two decades, I've been chasing fighter planes around the world. But there was always one combat jet that I desperately wanted to fly. Done today. A rare honor as the first journalist to get a sortie. We have any problems about RT and we are in close form so I'll indicate the five or six. I would be flying today with some of the most experienced Tejas test pilots. Group Captain Rajiv Joshi would be in command of the jet. I would fly. Well, strapping up in a G-suit is an essential part of flying on a fighter aircraft. A G-suit ensures that when we are up in the air, you're essentially safe from the G-forces all around us. At 11.45 a.m., we walk to the aircraft at the dispersal at the Yelahanka Air Base outside Bengaluru. Decades in development, this homegrown fighter is now mature technology. Find out what it means for the armed forces. Small, nimble and fairly unique, the Tejas light combat aircraft is India's effort at catching up with the world's great aviation manufacturers. We are on Group Captain Joshi Vishnu Som NDTV 15th Feb customer demo flight. Now, after more than three long decades in development, that has happened to a large extent. We line up for takeoff with the second Tejas twin seater. Rolling. Max repeat. And take off together. Flying in airspace between Bengaluru and Mysore, I'm showcased how the Tejas has come of age its systems, its cockpit layout, and its maneuverability. We pull up for a 5.6G maneuver, a gut-wrenching move where you feel the equivalent of 5.6 times your body weight spread equally over your body. Okay, Vishnu, can you see him on the head-up? Yeah, I can As see him on the head-up. Head yeah, I can see him. Okay, increase speed 300. After a sortie lasting an hour, we line up for the runway at Yelahanka and come into land. 